Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are on Arch Linux again. Yay, because honestly, dealing with Fedora was just annoying. I didn't remember how much annoying until, well, I was forced to live there. So, what we're doing today is a little bit different. One second, let me just put this icon in its place. Thank you. We're going to be upgrading all of our extensions to GNOME 49, and then we're going to be installing GNOME 49 RC. You don't have to do this. I do it, so you don't have to. But if you want to go and test it and report bugs, they have their own matrix server just for GNOME 49 and newer versions that aren't officially out yet. So, uh, yeah, let's let's have some fun. Hopefully, hopefully this is going to be fun. OK. So the first thing we got to do is we got to head into local, share, and where is it? Gnome shell. Right, there it is. My brain is a little interesting. Uh, first things first, we need to find the metadata.json. Open it up with the text editor. And as you can see, it's all the way up to 48. We just do that and we do this and we type 49. That's how easy it is to update an extension. Now, whether it works after this or not completely depends on the developer and if they thought ahead, but I already know that it works. So this is why I'm doing it. Same thing with Arch update, open with this, add that, do this and 49. We're gonna do this for every single one of them. So you know that this is a thing that needs to be done, okay? Same thing with Arc menu metadata jot json and we're going to add 49 and control s in case you're wondering uh that's how i'm saving everything same with blur my shell did you know that blur my shell just works yeah that's the cool part so once again we're going to follow the standard and we're going to add 49 and uh we're going to hit save now instead of just constantly going back and forth like this this could be inefficient sometimes uh it's a lot easier to just do that obviously the 49 done and then this has already been updated to 49 by the way as you can see that so you don't have to worry about dash to dock but extensions lists still exist as 40. So at this, go here and add 49 and save. Now, what do you do after you're done all this? Well, it's simple. You log in and you log out. Just perfection's already updated. Uh, this is the one that I don't know if it works or not because I uh, this is a new one that I've not been testing at all. Why, the minute that I start recording, does my nose itch? Okay, now it has no reason to. Uh, moving on to quick audio settings. I haven't actually adjusted this at all, so there's that. And all we do is this. They don't like to uh, do this, right? They just want the newest version. And I get that, but for this purpose only, uh, it needs to be done. And same with this, so... Now, let's talk about something. Do extensions break? No, they do not. Extensions go out of date. They do not break. They are shut down or turned off to protect you, the people, from having issues with your system. So uh, let's say an extension is highly incompatible with GNOME 49. The system will automatically have this check in place, as you can see, 48, to pretty much make it so that you cannot harm your system and it's a good thing it's not a bad thing and most people don't understand this uh it's the way that gnome in itself is coded it just can sometimes not be very friendly okay we're gonna close other tabs and save that there we go done all right with all of that finished all we have to do is log out and log back in and we should be good to go. But first, we need to do one more thing. 
So we're going to open this up. We're going to sudo pacman dash capital. Oh, sorry. My bad. You know what? Yeah. Do we have gedit installed? No, we do not. So yes, sudo pacman dash s gedit. This is still the best text editor that I enjoy because it's actually feature rich unlike others. Uh, and GNOME seems to be going backwards where they're not including advanced settings and doing all this crazy stuff that needs to be done to ensure that people are happy. So you gotta do what you need to do. And the minute they take get it down, I'll fork it, put it right back up and keep on developing it because that's how cool it is. All right, so in here, flashbang, by the way. My God, it's brighter than my entire uh, everything. Yeah, and that doesn't work. That never works. If we head down here, you'll know that you'll notice that course that testing is on the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to gnome unstable, and we're going to uncomment it. That's what those things are. In doing this, we hit save, and I need to disable everything cache OS wise just for this one thing, because I want to make sure that we get all the right packages. You don't have to do this. Remember, I am a nut job. I am a controlled psychopath. Yes. <laughs> and then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do that. And then it's going to update everything to GNOME 49. Now, the reason I'm doing this, and I'm not telling you to do this, you've always asked how I did this. I'm showing you, and you're going to do this at your own risk. I am not going to be blamed if something goes wrong. So remember that. This is your first and only warning that this could go very wrong. There's a reason I disabled uh, the cache OS, and the main reason is because of... Where is it? It showed... GNOME sessions needed to be updated, and it has an older version of GNOME sessions that tend to override everything. So that's one of the reasons. Settings, shell, software, yada, 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 weather. Yeah. It just does not obey the rules of Arch. So now what do we do? We log in, we log out, and we're good to go. Hopefully. Hopefully. If I come back... If you see this video, you know it worked. If you don't see this video, well... Well, before we get back to the rest of the video, of course, uh, take this time to subscribe if you haven't already, to leave a like and a comment on this video, and uh, show your appreciation by becoming a member of this YouTube channel. I would very highly appreciate it, and it would help a lot uh, getting this channel up to 40,000 subscribers, which is the goal. Thank you, everybody. Well, it should have worked. Let's go and see. Why are we on that monitor? Yeah, see? This is the problem with having monitors that are literally identical in every way. Alright, let's do a fast... I don't have fast fetch. Okay, let's install fast fetch first. Okay, good. That's done. And we're going to do a fast fetch, and GNOME 49 RC is currently installed. Just like that. That's it. As you can see, all of our extensions are working. Literally all of them are working, including this one, which I'm really surprised about. Uh, then again, all it does is pull system from the information and display it as, you know, stuff. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. So, that's it. That's all that is required to get this done. I updated my extensions. Okay, some were already updated. Uh, we installed GNOME 49 by adding the repo and doing a system update. We logged out, we logged in, and lo and behold, we're uh, looking pretty good right about now. Yeah, not bad. Now, when you enable HDR right here by this toggle, what will happen? I'm gonna need to move me one second. Uh, I don't want to actually enable HDR. You'll get a new option in the control panel here to control your brightness uh, for your HDR. So you can crank it or turn it down. And I don't know why they decided it was a good idea to move it over here, but 
I mean, it's completely up to them whether they do that or not. It's just a bit weird. That's all I'm saying. It's just a bit weird that they did that. Anyway, I'm off. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, let me move me back up here. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, you know, leave a like on the video. It really, really, really helps. And share the video with those people around you who are interested in Linux as well. If you want to help support the channel, I have membership and you can become a member. And that really does help in the long run. Uh, it's really affordable and nice and really helps. So I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.